you guys are so supportive of one another, the cast, mm. on, on, on Twitter and on social media and whatnot. Is that organic? Did you guys get along like that? No, we really get along. There was this weird electricity that happened when they sort of threw us into this room during chemistry testing where David Collins, the show creator, was like running around in the back, sort of like really excited. And um, we, like, we felt something special. Like we were weirdly finishing each other's sentences. We're all different, but we still managed to get along really well. And like social media, it's such a fun platform to troll on each other's accounts, to support each other, bring each other up, down, and then pick each other back up again. So it's fun because we don't get to see each other a lot in between seasons, you know, in between working, so. Actually, they hate each other. <laughs> Little secret. Most of us were over at your house and all cuddling on the couch, so um, yeah, I beg to differ. But, so, so you yeah. didn't like sit down and agree to comment on each other. No, it's just, it's more, it, it's like when you miss each other, it's sort of like, yeah, you go troll each other's accounts. What do you want to do in season two that you have not done on the show? Um, you could work just in your underwear. Well, uh, or, uh, I don't know what to say about that. Wait but they get um, their hands on you, Anthony. I, I, I want to, I think my goal is just to continue to really focus on what the needs of the hero are, because it's not about my skill set or what I want to prove, but it's about what that person needs in making their lives better. Uh, there was a lot of attention to your cooking, what you did, what you didn't cook. Do you want to show more elaborate meals in season two? If it's suitable, if I'm dealing with somebody who has certain culinary prowess, then sure. But I'm not going to teach somebody how to sous vide if they've barely ever made a salad for themselves, you know? No. It's a case by case thing, I think. It's a service job and it's not a cooking show. We're there to show up for these people and make their lives better. Every guy that you that you make over, you have to come at that person where they are right. and also, you know, respond to their interests. So if somebody is curious about wine and wants to learn about champagne, then I've got a lesson for you, but it it all kind of depends on what their needs are and where they are. What male celeb do you guys think is in need of a season 2 makeover? Oh god. We, we used to get that question all the time. I'm not saying you know who, because I'm not giving him any power. I don't say his name, but... I don't either. I'm going to keep it general, and maybe any politician who's either too left or too right, okay. and try to bring them a little closer to the center. That was a very Canadian answer and very broad, but I think the point is to bring everybody a little closer to the middle. Canadians really are nice. They're so nice. We try. Yeah, it's funny we're talking about celebrities, but you have, at least in the world we're in, been hanging out with a lot more celebrities. Gigi, uh, Heidi Gardner. Is that like a fun part of this gig to like come into prominence? It's kind of like when somebody is a fan of your work, but that person is also the king. Um, and you just get summoned. So it's like delightfully weird, but we've also made some really interesting friends who have like gone through this transition into like public lifedom and they have advice and sometimes it's just fun and it's all part of the ride.